It's a gorgeous day here in Southern California and I'm so happy because it's fresh California avocado season. And today I'm going to talk to you about why I love fresh California avocados as part of a plant-based or plant-curious diet. Okay. So it is time to head to your local market and grab you some locally grown fresh California avocados. So I am working with my content partners, the California Avocado Commission, to bring you the information you need to know about avocados. So if you're plant-based, or even if you just want to introduce more healthy fruits and veggies into your diet, then stick around to the end because this is information that you're really going to want to hear. So I've had a bunch of questions in recent weeks about, uh, about avocados and actually it couldn't be more timely because right now is fresh California avocado season. Now the season for peak ripeness runs between the spring and the summer and it is important to buy your avocados, your fresh California avocados during this season for maximum deliciousness. So as a plant-based eater, I love fresh California avocados. When they're in season, I eat them almost every day because as a plant-based eater, you're not eating so many sort of comfort foods such as the dairy and the, and the cream and the butter. I call avocados nature's butter. And so they're so satisfying. They're so comforting. But a lot of my questions have been, Sophie, are they really healthy? How can I know that they're healthy? How do I buy them? How do I store them? How do I ripen them? So that's exactly what we're going to get into today. So now let's get down to the good stuff. So how do you select the perfect avocado? Well, you're already on the right path by choosing a fresh California avocado. But I also have some tips about how to pick the right avocado in the store, how to store it when you get home, and how to incorporate it into your delicious plant-based diet. Many avocados found in supermarkets in the USA are imported and travel a long way to get here. So for fresh premium quality avocados that are fast to market, look for the California label. Now, California avocados are locally and responsibly grown by California farmers from San Diego to Monterey. Okay, so the nutritional benefits of avocados are pretty impressive. So they have good fats, they have, they're heart healthy, and they help create healthy bones. So let's just talk about the good fats. Now, the avocado is virtually the only fruit that has monounsaturated fat, also known as MUFA, which can help reduce bad cholesterol levels in your blood. Okay, so let's talk about heart health. Now, avocados are a good source of fiber and consuming foods rich in fiber helps reduce the risk of heart disease, obesity, and diabetes. Let's talk about healthy bones, important to me. So one serving of avocado provides 10% of the daily value for vitamin K, making it a good source of this nutrient, which is very important for blood clotting and healthy bones. So how do you choose an avocado? Look for the California avocado label. This is very important if you want a quality avocado that you can be sure has not only been grown, but will also have the texture and creaminess of a true California avocado. You can gently squeeze it in the palm of your hand. Now, a ripe fruit will gently yield to pressure, but be sure that you don't um, overly squeeze the fruit with your fingers because it will leave a mark as the fruit ripens. And even if you don't want that avocado, you don't want to bruise it for the next person, right? So what about ripening fruit? 
Well, keep the fruit on the counter if ripe and you plan to use within the next day or two. You can also store ripe avocados in the fridge for several days. Now, if unripe, keep the fruit in a fruit bowl or a paper bag with bananas, apples or kiwis, which release ethylene, a natural hormone that actually speeds up the ripening process. So when you're cutting, a single serving is a third of a medium avocado, 50 grams or three slices. That is 80 calories. So what does a third of avocado look like? Here's a visual to help. I recommend removing the skin by nicking and peeling, not scooping. This is because the greatest concentration of beneficial carotenoids in California avocados are in the dark green fruit right next to the peel. If you want to keep the remainder of the avocado after eating a third or a half, I recommend squeezing lemon juice on the exposed flesh and then covering very tightly with plastic wrap. Make sure you get all the air out. You can freeze ripe fruit by cutting in halves or quarters, peeling the skin, sprinkling the fruit with lemon or lime juice or white vinegar and placing in a freezer storage bag. All right, now we're getting down to the delicious factor, how to incorporate creamy avocados into your diet. So if you're looking for ideas, you don't have to look far to find all kinds of wonderful ideas on how to incorporate them into many breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipes. But I've actually just created a recipe for the California Avocado Commission. Oh my gosh, it is my avocado flat bread. So the link to that recipe is in the description below the video. So avocado toast has reached the edges of the earth by this point, but I like to use avocado in other ways. One of my favorite ways is I like to add a third of an avocado to a green smoothie to give it a delicious velvety texture and to fill it with heart healthy fats. Blending avocados not only gives your smoothie a lovely creamy texture, but it adds a whole new level of nutritional benefits to your healthy breakfast beverage. So consuming the good fats in avocados helps your body to absorb fat soluble nutrients like vitamins A, D, K and E and minerals that will be in the other ingredients in your smoothie. So think of avocados as a nutritional sponge, right? You need it to help you absorb the other nutrients. So avocados can so easily take the place of butter or mayonnaise in a sandwich or on a baked potato. And very often being plant-based, we look for these flavors and in many, even plant-based um, cheeses and, and butters and spreads and whatnot, there can be a lot of oil and a lot of salt. And this is why avocados are such a good replacement because being plant-based or plant-curious, we want to be healthy as well. So we really want to look for those um, healthy alternatives and do it in a way that really benefits our body. So in my opinion, any salad is made more delicious by adding chunks or slices of fresh California avocado. So whether I am putting together an Instagram worthy salad or whether I'm literally just grabbing everything from my fridge because I'm so hungry and putting together a crunchy raw or chef salad, it's always more delicious. And the really great thing is that a few chunks of avocado with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice and a pinch of salt negates the need for any kind of dressing. So you've heard it. You've heard why I love avocados. Actually, I have to be honest with you. I think avocados are arguably, I'm just going to say it, my favorite food in the world. So as a plant-based eater, they really do tick so many boxes for me. Nutritional powerhouse, creamy and delicious, heart healthy, low as bad cholesterol. What could be better? So my little mind is ticking now of all these other recipes and things that I'm going to be using and making and preparing during the season, during the fresh California avocado season. And I suggest Suggest that you do the same. So if you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other nutritional videos and be sure 
to subscribe and click on that little gray bell so that you get notifications and you don't miss any of my new videos. And be sure to ask me any questions. So if I've missed anything, if there's any burning avocado questions, be sure to leave me those questions and I will get back to you.